In this vlog, I'm going to talk about what it's like to be an underrated YouTuber. Since not that many people know who I am, you're going to start off that way, where people don't know who you are. But I feel I'm underrated like Cesaro. Underrated like Cesaro. We both work hard. We're good at what we do. I'm a YouTuber. He's a professional wrestler. We're both underrated. Yeah, I feel like I'm underrated because I make good videos all the time. My editing skills are great. Since I'm a small YouTuber, I feel like I don't get the recognition that I, I deserve. It'll almost be two years since I started making videos consistently on YouTube. Since the comments are mostly a turtle around, it feels a, a variety of people that I know I've made it. But that's okay. Ricardo Ram's a cool guy. He used to answer my questions from Wednesday's vlog. So hopefully he watches this video. I'm also underrated because I put myself out there. But maybe some people don't bother to watch. They don't have time to watch. They're not on. And, yeah, that's that. This channel fuels my hopes and dreams. It fuels my hopes and dreams. That's a reference to Kenny Omega's Battle Cry theme song. It fuels my hopes and dreams. Yeah. I feel that my videos are good, but there's just so many YouTubers out there that it's hard to get views, real-time views, and subscribers. Everyone's trying to be, beat out each other, so... Yeah, that's that. I'm also underrated because my skills just prove it. That I, I have what it takes to be a good YouTuber. An influential YouTuber. If I can make a difference in one person's lives or more than one person's lives, then I'm happy about that. I want to give a shout out to Mateo Halupa. He's a cool guy. And thank you all for watching this vlog on why I'm an underrated YouTuber. And I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Thank you.